Hi guys and welcome to this, another Mass Guru video on the Year 7 Algebra content. Again, don't worry if you're not in Year 7. All of these videos are just for anybody who wants to watch and who has an interest in algebra. We are going to be dealing with expanding brackets. Now, if you are watching on my YouTube channel, do me a favor and in that bottom corner, there is a little doohickey that if you haven't already done so, will subscribe you to my channel. Now, subscribers are really awesome because uh, it just lets me know that someone out there is watching maths videos. Uh, if you can let your mates know, would be also great. If you are watching on mathsguru.com, welcome and wow. Now you have access to lesson notes, time codes, uh, questions, all sorts of exciting things. So if you're not on MathsGuru.com, the website's being shown above. Flip over there now and uh, you're not missing out on anything. In fact, you'll probably be gaining. So by the end of this lesson, I would hope that you have an understanding of the concepts below. And that says literally there, know how to expand brackets using the distributive law. Again, another word, not particularly easy to say. What is the distributive law? Come back to that in a moment. We have learned much about maths and algebra already. As I say, I'd like to do a bit of a recap. We have looked at terms and constants and pronomen and a lot of language in these videos to be able to help you master this stuff. Algebra is smoke and mirrors, nothing more, nothing less. You can do this stuff. I totally, totally believe in you. Even if I've never met you, I believe in you. Uh, if I can do it, then you can, because I hated maths at school with a passion, which hopefully means I'm making these videos make sense for you. Okay, so let's have a look at basic multiplication. Now we've been multiplying since we were at primary school. It wasn't particularly difficult, is it? Three times four, I'm gonna multiply that together. Three times four is 12. We also know that four times three is 12 as well. Okay, that's really, really important. Don't forget to know this stuff. But what about when we multiply 23 and 5 together? Again, you're probably sitting there going, what on earth is this video I've tuned into? I thought it was about algebra. We're getting there. And I have to say, if you understand by the end of this video the work that I have done, then you're going to be able to do year 10 algebra like that. It's not going to be difficult in any way, shape or form, but we have to understand the basics first. Okay, so 23 times 5, 23 times 5. Now, when I was at school, we were told to do 23, and we do times by 5, and we do these little lines there, and then what do we do? We say, well, okay, I'm going to do uh, 5 times 3. And we know that 5 times 3 is 15, and for some random reason, we put the 5 there, and we put the 1 down there. Now, it's not a random reason, because 5 was the units, which is going to go in my units column, and 1 was the tens, which is going to go in my tens column. Having done that, we then move and we do 5 times 2, which is 10, and we add the 1, which gives me 11. So 23 times 5 is 115. That's certainly one way to do it, but I really like this idea here. So I'm just going to write it out again. I've got 23 times 5. Now I know that that's the same as 5 times 23, which is the same as 5 times 20 plus 3. Do you notice what we're doing there? We're basically breaking up that 23 into two individual things. You know, a tens thing, as in two lots of tens, so 20 plus my three units. Now what happens then is to multiply these out together, I could do the five times the 20, so that's the same as five times 20 plus five times three, which is five times three. Now again, that is no different from what we did here. If you remember, the first step we did was five times three. That was the first step we did. And then we did this five times the two, but what we had to remember was that was the same as five times 20. What did we then do? We actually, whether we realized it or not, we were adding those two results together. So five times three, oh, hold on a moment, five times three and five times 20. Well, five times 20 we know is 100, five times three is 15, and so when we add them together, we get the same value as 115. Now, I suppose I'm asking the question, would I actually do this longhand with numbers? Probably not, but knowing that it exists, knowing how to do it, helps me with algebra. All right, so let's have a look at this one. We think of the idea now that anything inside of the brackets, and if we think of that as anything inside my brackets, which we had here, is multiplied by what is outside my bracket, by that five, then we have all the work we're gonna to need to